Hello there, Erunar here, and today we will review Missia roster. Missia is led by Telephos, quite balanced hero with good defensive and offensive abilities. He is able to boost his attack, armor, regenerate HP and route enemy units. In the infantry, we are starting with Anatolian Youths. These one are used in the Lycia roster. Quite okay for for tier one frontline unit, but you will want to use better units instead. Then we have Missian Riders. Uh, they have quite good weapon and charge for their tier one, but they are quite weak and fragile. Improved Charger is the Mountaineers from the Thracian Tra roster. These are Mobile Charger with pretty good damage. Then we have the Frontline, which is Mycian Light Spearmen. Compared to Standard Spearmen, these are quite weak, but expendable. Then we have the Mission tribesmen, which are more offensive, better weapon, better offensive stats. But again, they are quite fragile. It is still early game. Then we go to the tier 2, which is still early game. You can recruit Phrygian X-Men from Watchtower. They are X frontline kind of. And then we go to the mid tier. Since mid tier you got Mission Spearman, uh, it's quite cheap uh, and relatively weak frontline unit, uh, just 40% missile block, quite okay weapon, but that's just it. Then we have uh, Trashian Spearman, which is usually a very bad unit. Maybe slightly more defensive, but I do not recommend Thracian Spearmen. Uh, rather bring more Mission Spearmen. Then from the Paris roster we got Phrygian Warriors, which are very good offensive unit flankers. They are able to route enemies by causing fear. Uh, they are quite expensive and squishy, so you have to use them uh, precisely. Then as frontline or frontline killers, we have Mission Warriors, a solid unit. Uh, stats seems to be relatively weak, but their weapon makes up for the, that. So they are pretty good at dueling, especially against swords and spears. And and with improved flank defense, they are able to hold the line better than your spearmen. And frontline flanker, we have the Mission Swordsman. Also good stats. The weapon is not as usual, but the improved flanking makes it valuable. When we go to the end game or late game, we got the renowned Phrygian X-Men, which are quite weak unit or expensive. It has terrible stats and okay weapon. I do not recommend this unit for the Paris or this roster. Instead, we go for the Mission Nobles. Finally, they have solid stats, good HP, armor, everything as should be. Plus, finally, they have flanking defense improved compared to uh, renowned Phrygian X-Men. So, for late game, I recommend these axes as frontline and to support them also with Mission Swordmasters on the sides. They have excellent weapon against spears, uh, which is very good. Then, the Heavy upgrade of the Phrygian Warriors are the Mission Heracleide. They have one of the they have the, the best weapon. The only 
Agamemnon uh, companions have this insane strong axe, uh, so there I will be dealing a lot of damage with 40 charge, flanking attack improved, of course, and on top of that, they are able to drop enemy defense from the front in the in the early of the charge. They will drop enemy damage. They will be, deal a lot of. They will make a lot of kills. This is very strong unit, at, so be careful with it. Then with missiles, we got the light skirmisher from the trace. Uh, probably not recommended. So you shall go with the slingers. These slingers are slightly worse than Echian slings, but they are kind of the only slings you can have in the early game. On tier 2, you can recruit heavy Anatolian skirmishers, which are quite tanky, they have the best javelins for such early to mid game, but they are very slow, so it's up to you to bring them or not. Thracian hunters, I do not recommend them, they are just like bowmen, expensive and not dealing much damage. Instead go for Missian armored slingers, they have one 180 range, which is co very comfortable long range unit. You will de deal a lot of uh, damage in your campaign. And the endgame upgrade of this unit, even more range. This is the best range in the game, 190, with a nice missile damage for a sling. Uh, good shield. So, this faction is already solid as a long range faction. You don't have spears frontline. Well, this is not a spear frontline. And then we have standard chariots from the Trojan roster. Anatolian chariots and heavy Trojan chariots are slightly stronger than Achaean variants. Now we will show, we will watch the replay from the very first Missia battle. You start with this army. I highly recommend to recruit additional troops, one or two, and then go to conquer this settlement. This is a settlement battle, but since the settlement is level one, there is no actual streets like here, so it's more open battle on the hill like here. So we are fighting the the land battle and we have small army. Let me quickly review this army. We have the mid-tier uh, mid unit, mission warriors, they have excellent weapon good stats good and flanking defense this will be our the most valuable unit then we have the hero uh, which is uh, upgrade of the spearman yeah oh, oh, let me check. oh it should be upgrade of something doesn't matter then we have uh, our spearman which again are slightly worse than standard spearmen. We will have to kind of keep them alive. We have our version of Achaean slings, which are Missian slingers, and then as uh, expendable flankers, we have Missian tribesmen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units versus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hmm. So enemy has 12 units, we got only 8. And I shall do the best to survive this battle. Very small cheese against AI. Uh, since we are attacking, 
and they are defensive uh, they are just sitting on the hill I got time to prepare some front lines prepare some gaps position my troops meanwhile and this one dude right these these slingers are going to provoke AI to come and bring all their units against me let's let's go boys All right, they should be provoked in a moment. Yeah, they are going to take damage. Yes. Now we have to run back into our small trap. I want them to to don't be such white, otherwise I would be surrounded very quickly. That's, that's why I'm going to use this terrain to block off a lot of units. Now let's see what this... Let's see how it's going to be played out. I just made a room for the slings to come. And now my micro will be the most essential. This needs to be a very good position they my units must not be flanked at all nice charge yes hero activates ability here we are also going to flank them by purpose I have made small gap right here so I can bring my unit through the gap and meanwhile my slings are focusing some unshielded units okay already going to help this flank okay my the best units are going to cut through their footsmen so that was a very good decision from me Meanwhile, on the left, I'm going to bring my uh, mission swords, tribesmen, yeah. As you can see, mission units are quite fragile, they are not excellent at holding. So I will have to support them. I am not ashamed to throw slings into the combat. And since these mission warriors have won the battle and they are not flanked, I can be attacking enemy flank and help to win this fight. Meanwhile, it seems I'm doing relatively okay. Enemy is going to charge me, which I don't like. Okay, one little more cheese about Troy Mechanics. I do have the Mission Tribesmen fighting the Woodsmen. They were fighting somewhere here. But you can uh, make it to attack, make this unit my unit to go and attack these two units when you uh, let me show you why I will zoom to the champion and he is attack in the rear this kind of cheese is to make enemy route and same I'm going I'm doing it right here they are going to route very quickly and therefore your warriors are losing heart yes hero is routing woodsman routing as well let me check mission warriors even though they are pretty good uh, 
there is a lot of woodsmen to be fighting and woodsmen are so good. So that's why it's a bit dangerous to use my unit. What else is going on in this blob? I'm kind of finally routing enemy units. I'm a little bit lucky. And this chain route will mean that I'm going to win this battle. Even though it's against more units and I should have recruited something in the last turn. So don't do the same mistake as me and you won't have to fight hard battle like me right now. So that is pretty much it. Let's check how the units were doing in the battle. Our slings have earned their value. So yes, I do recommend them. My hero did a good job. My mission warriors... Well, sin since woodsmen are cheap, uh, even though they have won, it was not much of value. Front lines did very well. And flanker, one of the flanker did a good job at chain routing the enemy army. So that is all. See you later.